Am I the a-hole for ordering pizza at my friend's wedding because there was no food? Me and my wife were invited to my friend's wedding. The wedding was going to have about 70 people with mostly family. When we got there, we were seated at a table with some other people. Nice people, and we mingled well and had a good time chatting. The wedding was also quite nice. Both my friend and his new wife were very happy. After the ceremony, every table got two bottles of wine, bread and butter, and there also was an open bar, so we started to have a few drinks. Then the food came out. It looked really good. The food was set up for buffet. I was half buzzed and looking forward to getting some food in my belly. When it was time to eat every few tables at a time were going to get called, which is fine. The first few tables that were called were understandably the family of both sides. Then the rest were. The problem was that the family members, his in-laws are larger people. Now I don't shame people for how much they eat, but I noticed the helpings of food they had while I was patiently waiting for us to be called. I also noticed that they went for seconds before all the tables were called and no one stopped them. I didn't say anything, though I thought that was rude. I just assumed that there was just a lot of food. To my surprise, by the time we were called, there was nothing left. I asked if there was more coming out and apparently that already occurred. So we grabbed the little we could and went back to sit down and ate the scraps. We were all still pretty hungry and a bit pissed off so we kind of bash talked that the first few tables ate all the food. Someone mentioned that they could go for some pizza and then I had the drunken idea of ordering some. So that is what we did. We all pitched in and ordered four large pizzas and some chicken wings from a local pizza joint close to the venue so it didn't take long to be delivered. I met the guy outside and brought the food to our table and we started to eat. Some of the other tables noticed and asked where the pizza came from. Apparently some of the other tables close to ours didn't get any food either, so we shared with them. This caused some commotion because other people were looking for and asking the wedding party if there was pizza available. I guess there were others that didn't get to eat either. We did share with anyone who asked us. My friend came to talk to me about why I ordered the food. His bride was not happy about it it ruined the aesthetics, so I told him that we didn't get to eat and that the food ran out long before our table was called and we were really hungry. He then asked why we didn't just step out and eat then come back. Though annoyed about that, I respectively explained to him that we were all drinking on an empty stomach and that it probably wasn't the best idea to have drunk people walking around looking for food. I don't think he liked that but went back to his bride who was glaring at us. Like what were we supposed to do? Starve. This wasn't the end though, as we were finishing eating. One of the in-laws came to our table and he asked where the pizza came from. This is where I may be the a-hole. There were two slices left, I knew he was eyeing them. I asked the other people at my table if they wanted one. Everyone declined. This guy then said he'd have one. I then took the two slices I put them on my plate and started to eat them, then looked at him and said something like, no, you and everyone at your tables had way more than your fair share of the buffet. Me and ate all of it. This is the reason we ordered food in the first place. And now you have the nerve to ask us to share. His face went red and he returned to his table. There was a lot of discussion going on over there. They were all looking back at us with daggers. The bride looked even more ticked off at us. She had a bit of an argument with my friend. He eventually came back to tell us we had to leave. I didn't mean to start any problems, so me and my wife called a cab and left. He called me a few days later, and we had a long talk. I explained my perspective, and he agreed that his in-laws were really rude for eating all the food and leaving most of the other guests with very little. A lot of people actually complained to him about it. Everyone was drinking thinking that there would be food and they were disappointed. He was upset with his in-laws because he told them how many guests there would be and to order the food for that many people. He also saw how much they were taking but assumed they ordered enough. He was wrong. He brought this up with his wife, and she said that apparently because the in-laws paid for the alcohol and the food they felt entitled to eat what they wanted, she was really mad at them and reamed them out for tainting her special day. He also said a lot of the other non-family guests started to leave soon after we left because they too were hungry. They still had fun celebrating, but it did kind of put a downer on their special day. Out of 70 people, about 30 left. I also found out that guy that came to our table was his father-in-law. The father-in-law was really embarrassed by what I said to him. He felt pretty bad when he found out close to half the guests didn't get to eat anything and left early. So am I the a-hole?
Am I the a-hole for not tipping after overhearing what my waitress said about me? I was at a restaurant last night with my mother, she was meeting my boyfriend's mom for the first time. We're punctual people so we got there about 30 minutes before our reservation. We got seated with no issues. It took the waitress 20 minutes to get to our table even though the restaurant was pretty empty. Right away I could tell that she didn't want to wait on us, she didn't grade us with a hello she just asked what we wanted to drink. We told her and I noticed that she didn't write our order down. It took another 15 minutes for our drinks to get to our table, and they were wrong. It's hard to mess up a ginger ale and a vodka soda, but she did. My mom pointed out that she didn't order a Pepsi and the waitress rolled her eyes, took my mother's glass and disappeared. I excused myself to use the washroom shortly after. I had no idea where I was going, so I went to the entrance to ask one of the hostesses there. While I was walking up to the server area, I overheard my waitress talking to some other hostesses. She was pissed that she had to wait on a black table because they never tip well. My mother and I were the only black people in the restaurant. She wasn't even whispering when she said it either. I wasn't stunned, but her lack of effort started to make sense. I interrupted their conversation and I asked where the bathroom was. I didn't let on that I had heard what they were talking about. When I got out of the bathroom, my boyfriend and his mom were already seated. My boyfriend and his mother are white. When my waitress saw the rest of our party, she did a 180. Her service was stellar. She took notes, told jokes, and our water glasses were always filled. She didn't make another mistake. Because the night went so well, I decided to treat everyone and pay the check. She gave me the machine and I smiled at her while I keyed in 0% for a tip. She didn't notice until after the receipt had been printed out. By that time, all of us had already started to leave. She tapped me on the shoulder and asked if I had made a mistake on the bill. I told her I didn't think so and looked at the receipt. She asked if there was a problem with her service and I said her service was fantastic, but since I was a black woman, I don't tip well. Her face went white and she kind of laughed nervously and I laughed as well. I walked out after that, but my boyfriend's mom asked what had happened. I told her what I had overheard and my boyfriend's mom said that I should have tipped her anyway because it shows character. She seemed pretty pissed at me after that. My boyfriend and my mom are both on my side, but I'm wondering if I should have just thrown in a $2 tip.